Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living are real. Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human, who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Was the Volus Ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Damn 
Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You gonna go on about them all night? Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? So we killed Korak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Now you know my name, all of a sudden. Good question. Damn, wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn, you already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before, it failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. All right, I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks.
Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Who are those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. There's no way you could have known Korlak stopped working for Cerberus. That's no excuse. I kill Korlak and I'd have done right by Cerberus. No. Why go after Cerberus? Started with them trying to hire me back after we hit the Collectors. What scared you off? Another hunch. Cerberus wanted me to lead their new recruits, but I slipped off tour to talk to their soldiers. Found a restricted area and caught an officer without a helmet. Wasn't supposed to have done that, apparently. You saw what the elusive man did to his people? It's downright sick. I asked the soldier what the hell had happened to his face. Pissed him off. <laughs> or maybe he didn't even understand the question. Things go downhill with Cerberus from there? They didn't want me leaving, I can tell you. Shot my way out with one of their fancy new rifles. You know, I thought I'd find myself a bolt hole. Sit this one out somewhere warm and quiet. But no one tries to trick me into becoming a goddamn husk. I'm not gonna have much luck just sitting around. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. I'll keep it in mind. Later then. Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes, looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships, the last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. 
You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Leng's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Leng? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Admiral, how you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, damn it. It's yours now. <laughs> I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. There's an old human saying, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. It's not about a planet, but the value of each of us. Even when he was terminally ill and had no business fighting on, Something in Thane told him he could save one last life. It was not his own. Thane was too selfless for that. The life he chose was someone's whose decisions could, in fact, save worlds entire. I still love him for it. Would anyone else like to speak? It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. 
but what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways, said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Those people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time. It will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. Before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. I've thought over what you said, and in retrospect, I think leaving the Normandy was for the best. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways, but it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that. I don't want you to worry or feel guilty that you are not with me. Just face it bravely. I know you are good at that. I love you. I hope the Alliance listens. Keep in touch. See ya. I have prepared emails, sent videos, even composed paper letters. I know this will not reach you, but it must be said. I once had no reason to live. Then suddenly, I had two. You and Kolyat. Circumstances keep us apart, so Kolyat takes much of my time, but... I don't know if it's obvious to humans. Fist slams the table. She comes to me, fingers cool and soothing. They be alive with me tonight. I cannot forget you. That is what humans say. With us, it is a state called Tufira. Lost in another. It can consume us. In case you are in the same pain, I want to say... You have only made my life better. You gave me you. We are alive, Sia. And when we are not, I will meet you across the sea. Commander. Shepard, 
I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose... how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Senek, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Whoops. I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> Take a walk, guys. I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? Nope, no problem at all. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me, I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um, hmm. hello, and, hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent, overall. Oh, thank you, I think. Invite her out. What do you say we blow this joint? I've got this big gun back at my place. I'd like to show you. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. 
What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> it's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Morrow is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives. Myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. Rex! What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those hijack shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks, and another bag of ice. Aren't you in charge? They could at least hold off until after the war. You've never been stalked by a fertile Krogan female, Shepard. There is no holding off, just holding. Here are your drinks, and a bag of ice. Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Football! It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? 
Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. I understand you getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologized to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Commander Shepard? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some winds, otherwise... ...this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out.